Robots are cooking our hamburgers. Yes, in California, robots are making hamburgers. The workforce is changing and artificial intelligence is being called the new industrial revolution. How will this affect your job and how do we respond to these changes that are happening in our world? Well, let's take a look at it. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. Well, shifting and transitioning over here, can you, I guess we can imagine now. Yeah. We talk about, you know, the industry, uh, tech, uh, business is changing, the environment's changing, uh, technology's changing. As a matter of fact, I remember Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu talking about it at the APAC. APAC. When you look at uh, the industries that were uh, about 10 years ago, if you put this particular, you queue it up, back in 2006, these are the top 10 industries on your left right there in 2016. Now, these are the top industries, which means you're looking at one was energy pretty much on the left and a couple of technologies, but look to, the, look to the right. Everything's turning. That's 2016. Now we're way into 2018. You're going into 19. So you're looking at this all technicals, the way things are going it's right leading. there. You know, Exxon, General Electric, you know, um, you know financial institutions, Citigroup, Petro Bank China. America. But then over here on, on, in, the, in 2016, Apple, you know, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Amazon Facebook, Facebook um, China Mobile. And so you're looking, that's top 10 countries, companies in the world in 2016. Now that's even shifted more. So to think this is not a small idea, the fact that, that robots are beginning to take over people's jobs, artificial intelligence. When you hear about AI, those are robots basically. Mm -hmm you know, just uh, computer technology that's doing something that humans used to do. As a matter of fact, here, they're fixing, hot, they're fixing hamburgers, right? Yes. Tell us about it. We're so excited about our new book, I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success. You gotta have a strategy and you gotta fight. It's not about a physical fight, but you gotta fight. And guess what? If you fight, you win. You'll be successful. This book is about transforming your thoughts, about what your beliefs, the decisions that you're making, about speaking, what you say is so powerful, and what you do, what you're saying, your actions you take. And quitting, don't quit. Listen, success and failure quite often is just five more minutes. And finally, think about this. So many people talk about you should do this, and you should do this, and you should do this. And look what they're doing, they're not doing nothing. You can't let people tell you, you should do this. You should. As a matter of fact, they can't be putting their should on you. This is so important. Listen, we wanna bless you with your free copy of I Will Fight Strategies for Your Success. You can get it at vfnkb.com. That's vfnkb.com. Get your free copy today. In fact, this comes from Tech TechCrunch, and they talk about are they going to these, these robots and is it going to just change the workforce? And we said, the article says, we live in an amazing times where driverless cars, drones delivering packages, yeah. and chatbots talking to us and you know when you're typing in your computer and someone re replies it's not necessarily a person right it's a chat bot that's talking to you you it's can find out about certain questions you ask yeah them, right well in fact this entire thing of robotics uh ai artificial intelligence is now being called the next industrial revolution yes and it does not come without a lot of fear but a lot about a large workforce losing its jobs and their means of making a living the article continues to say that when the first industrial revolution hit, factories had a mass production of, of um, drew workers out of the cities in droves, and that manufacturing put individual craftsmen out of business. Right, so that happened during that time. Right, so the fears are with this new artificial intelligence, are we gonna lose a, a mass amount of, of people? And the answer, we will definitely use, lose a lot of jobs, but they yeah. go on to talk about yeah. that but there's more gonna be created, they're it, saying. Yeah, and they're yeah. saying that with the artificial intelligence that more is going to be created. And, and you look at the pattern of history, I mean, right. the guy that was hand making the wheels is not making wheels <laughs> anymore, you know what I mean? But he found something else to do. That's, something, that's one thing about industrial people, that if you're working a job today and you stay employed, chances are that you're going to find another job. I was talking to someone the other day about how blessed America is. In other countries, you can't even get a loan. Philippines or okay. some places in Africa, you know, they don't offer car loans, they don't offer uh, uh, mortgages. You have to have the entire money cash. Right. We have such a structure in America that the banks have confidence that even if you do lose your job over the next 20 or 30 years, we have faith that you can find another job in America at the same amount of money to make sure you can ob pay your right. obligations. We just live in a blessed land. That's a blessed land. That's a blessed land. Yeah. Mm. So believe it or not, in California, robots. Mm 
are making hamburgers. You gotta watch this. We're here at Creator, a new burger bot restaurant with the founder, Alex, who invented this crazy machine we're standing in front of. Maybe you could tell us, how did you get into the idea of building a burger bot? So I grew up flipping burgers and uh, parents got a restaurant. I've made maybe tens of thousands of burgers in my life. And when your job is to make something like 400 of the same burger every single day, you realize that there are a lot of opportunities to make it just a little bit better, except didn't have the means. So I thought, okay, if better kitchen tools help me make a much better product, why not just take that to infinity? And this is kind of like the ultimate kitchen instrument. So we just spent sauce down to milliliter. We just spent seasoning down to gram. There's uh, 11 sensors uh, to watch the temperature of the beef and some AI to make sure we lock in the doneness. When we grind the meat, we literally align the meat and the patty to go along with your, your bite kind of vertically as your incisors come through. So you get a lot of advantage on the texture side of things. So the burgers are tasty and I'm absolutely surprised that they only cost $6. But my question is, what is this gonna do for the future of work and all the people that already work in these kind of restaurants? So, you know, I, I grew up making burgers and that type of job is really close to my heart. And so I thought, okay, if I'm in a position where my job is to do something repetitive all day, how can I make a place of work where I can move from that into doing something that's either more creative or social? And so this place has a decent sized staff actually that we're paying everyone, we're paying everyone $16 an hour. On top of that, we're able to give people a 5% time, meaning 5% uh, of their time on the clock, they're spending that reading a book or doing something that's gonna benefit them in the long run, as opposed to what I was doing growing up, just doing this over and over all day. And so I think what we're going to see is an enhancement in terms of our collective skill set, moving into things that are just generally more fulfilling. So that's exciting, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get a hamburger, but, but the fact well, that we can do that That wasn't is appetizing. If you look away while they're making it, because the hamburger <laughs> looked thick, there's something about human beings interacting yeah. with humans. Food is about, made it. Food's about relationship. Yeah. I mean, it's enough things happening right now to the very things that, that hinder relationship. And one of the things that, that helps relationship is, is fixing your food and coming together and sharing how you made it. And sure, it's a masterpiece, you know, really. It, it really is, and that it's part of their life. And all of a sudden, if a machine makes it, it's really, yeah, it's, it's probably convenient, but the whole thing, there's no interaction there. No. So you're gonna like hit two likes on your this and <laughs> two posts over here, and then you're gonna push a button and your burger's gonna come out, and you're not gonna have any human contact at all. I think about this, you know, God created everything he created the marketplace he decided that we would actually barter and talk about you know you you got talents and you create this and i got talents and i create this and i'll exchange some of my stuff for some of your stuff and that in that marketplace i mean he established that mm -hmm. and when you pull the human element out of the marketplace it's it's I mean, how in the world are you going to talk to me how are you going to tell anybody about the goodness of god and and it really helps you think about how end times are going to be in regards to Revelation chapter 12 or 13 when he says that it's going to be a, an economy that, that, that is able to be tracked in such a way that you cannot buy or sell without it without that system. And as you can see now, it's something that we know like he got extra ketchup on his burger. <laughs> he got a burger, you know, you got, you know, and it just tracks you where you're spending. It's a, you know, if you're a Christian, you don't worry about that. What you want to know, you just want to be able to, to, to make as much impact as you can while you have this particular time in your life because you're going to spend eternity with the Lord. You know, how, how, what kind of impact you're going to have. So many people, and we talked about this in the great digital divide, that they're so concerned, John, about, you know, they're going, somebody's going to know my stuff and they're going to know where I'm at. And God's <laughs> going, I know where you're at. I know your That's stuff. That's right. And I'm waiting for you to go tell somebody about me, you know, and that, yes, these systems are getting kicked in. And, and you know, once men are turned on to things to be able to make money, control people, they just go after it. And even, even, uh, um, I can't think of his name right now, but you would know him if I talked about him. But he said, you know, once greed kicks in, once they realize they can make more money by controlling folks through technology, just, it just kicks in. The love of money. You either love money or you love God, but you can't, can't love, love them both. both. And you can have money and love God, but if you can't have money and love God, then you have no money and you can love God. But you can't lo have love God and love money. And so it's so important to understand that, that the here we are this day when technology has taken over and it's, a, it's almost a cashless society. God showed me that the paper money is going to be pulled up and taken away. It's, it's pretty much now just people by permission are still allowing them. 
people to have it, but it wouldn't take much of a crisis where people say, no. we can solve the drug problem overnight. We can control every drug buy that possibly would happen. Why? Because it's a, it's a digital transaction taking place. That's why you have things like the Bitcoin and all that stuff going on. Listen, we want to know your thoughts about this. I mean, think about it. You know, you can be fearful or you can be faithful to understand, you know what, God, you knew this day was going to happen. You talked about it prophetically through your prophets. Help me to have the wisdom to follow your spirit during these days and what to do. This is what he says about the beast economy in the last days. He says, this requires wisdom. Mm. And this is what he says in the book of James. He says, anybody who asks God for wisdom will get it if you don't doubt. So you just ask God, God, I need wisdom for this. Guess what? God will give you wisdom. And then think about abiding with him. Abiding with him is hanging out with him. John chapter 15, Jesus says, we can't accomplish anything without abiding with him. You might want to do that and you don't have a plan. We've got a simple plan for you. It's at iabide.org. Get your simple plan today. Request it by email. We'll send it right to you right away at iabide.org. I want to be able to pray with you before we, we close out of here. I just thank you so much. Comment below. We want to hear your thoughts on these electronic type hamburgers happening, all the things that are happening with Mario Lopez. We want to hear your thoughts. Comment below. We love to get your emails at friends at vfnkb.com. Talk to us. We love that. Thank you for your prayers and for your encouragement. Let me pray for you right now. Father God, I thank you for our audience. God, I just bless their families right now. Bless their marriages, God. I bless their businesses, God. I pray for wisdom, God, that you would give them wisdom during this day. We pray a blessing over Mario and what he's doing, Father God. Give him encouragement. We pray for all those in the entertainment mountain, Father God, that you would begin to stir their heart, Lord, and your kingdom would come, Lord God, to the entertainment mountain. We just ask this, Lord, and we also speak out by faith and declare, dear God, end abortion, send revival, send a third great awakening, we pray in Jesus' name. God bless. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfnkb.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless. Thank you.